Hi, I'm Haley Baluch. I'm a senior. I'm the salutatorian for the class of 2018, and I'll be attending Kenyon College in the fall. Uh, English, with an emphasis on creative writing, but I do have a specific love for history, especially a concentration in military history. Um, I chose Kenyon for a lot of reasons. It actually wasn't on my list at all. Uh, Mr. Bound, one of my English teachers, uh, told me I should apply, and I said, okay, well, it's in Ohio, it's eight hours away, and it's super expensive, and there's no way I'm gonna go. And so I kind of just applied, but then didn't even think about it, and I went to go accept Rutgers, and then when I went to log into Kenyon, I saw that they had given me so much money and financial aid and merit scholarships, and I said, why am I not even considering it? So my dad said, you have to go and visit it, and when I went and visited it, um, only like a week and a half ago, I fell in love with the campus. All the programs are fantastic. It's one of the best English programs in the nation. They have a Kenyan Review Associates program where you can work for one of the best literary magazines in the country. And overall, it's just it has a small but very, not competitive, but very inclusive collaborative environment, and it's much different than any of the other schools I looked at. And I said, who am I kidding? Like, why am I just going to choose something that's closed when I have this opportunity, like, staring me in the face? I have so many favorite classes at Eastern's, I'm just going to like rack off a few. Um, I absolutely adored uh, freshman world history, even though it's very Eurocentric, the curriculum, but that's what made me fall in love with history, so then AP World and AP Euro were wonderful experiences. I loved uh, US history, though I do have a thing for world and European history. Uh, War and Peace with Mr. Kennedy, What I absolutely adore that class. I've never been so into military and espionage history as I am now. Um, but then English, like obviously I love every English class I've ever had, especially with Mr. Fulton and Mr. Bound and Mrs. Pomerantz and Mrs. O'Keefe. Okay, every single class I've had at Eastern I really do enjoy. It's, I don't know, there's so many different aspects that you could say are like good and bad of being a senior because when you're a senior, you feel like you've been here for a very long time, but at the same time, it feels like it's gone by so fast, so it's very contradictory. So you're here, and you're supposed to be holding up the school, but you don't even necessarily feel like an adult yet, um, but at the same time, you're very independent. So it's like very like contradictory in everything you do, so it's very hard to be a senior in that you're making these life decisions when you still feel like a child, but at the same time, you know you're not a child. So it's really hard to say, well, am I prepared to go on my own? Am I prepared to like open up my own bank account? Am I prepared to live eight hours away for four years? Am I prepared to do all this? And it's very overwhelming as a senior because you think that you need to have it figured out, but it's not true. You have a support system for the most part. So you have to like sit back and relax and realize that it's not the end of the world. You don't have to have everything decided by a certain deadline. And so like that's like one of the worst and best things about being a senior is that you have to be able to realize these things to be able to enjoy your senior year. Best part about being a senior though is you get to take a lot more courses that you're just interested in. I wouldn't have been able to take uh, War and Peace or journalism for two years if I hadn't had the opportunities that I had in previous years, so senior year made it more of a fun year. Um, everyone says take time to look around and all that jazz, all those cliches. High school doesn't go by that fast in some ways. I feel like I've been here a very long time when I look back on freshman year and honestly I can't tell you that it feels like yesterday because it doesn't, but at the same time it feels like you need to be here longer. So it's not that it feels like it went by fast, but it feels like you've been here for a while but you kind of want to go back. So I'd say enjoy the time that you have, but don't get too caught up in schoolwork. I mean, schoolwork is very important and it will get you to where you want to be, but at the same time you have to just look around and enjoy it. Do what you can to make the most of the year. I mean, I feel like everyone probably said that, but it's true, you just have to have fun.